Okay, we're going to do another one of the uh, uh, floating magnet videos. Hmm? Got magnets. And, whoa, when I just put one magnet on this rock here, then Mm -hmm. Okay, see, one magnet, and when I dump it like so, it falls off, because it's not attracted to my little brown rock. It is, however, attracted to this uh, wad of... Uh, Magnets in my hand. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, then, see, they'll stick to your hand. They, you know that, right? You know that magnets don't stick to your hand, huh? And I have lost another one, I think. Ah, there it is. Okay, I found it. That's amazing. And what we're going to do is show you that this... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Whoops. I have a thing gummy here. And a thing gummy here. Okay, and, and we're gonna lay it like so on the, on my rock, my little brown AUPT river rock. And you'll notice that I now have a magnet floating on the bottom. This is definitely not a magnet. It definitely doesn't act like a metal at all. It's AUPT with a covalent bond rather than a metallic bond between the atoms. Makes a lot of difference in what it does, right? What they do is they share electrons with each other. And they don't share them with their neighbors um, down the road. They, they, uh, metal bonds allow the sharing of electrons. Uh, the electrons are less um, tightly bound to the... Uh, to the uh, locus of that particular atom. So when light hits them, those electrons are what we see. That's what sparkles in a piece of uh, metal. Okay, so, and, and metals uh, do other things. They pass electricity uh, <laughs> in one way. Um, and uh, magnetism in another way perpendicular to them. Um, and that kind of stuff is why I have a magnet going this way <laughs> up here, see? It's going this way. And a magnet going perpendicular to it, going the other way on the bottom. 
and it's being mediated by a uh, room temperature superconductor called AUPT.